Good morning, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. Let me ask you something. Do you ever hear like somebody talking about percentages and you have no idea what they're talking about because they use this percentage number and then everything they start talking about after that is based off of some percentage number that you just didn't get the first time? And it, like, you know, for example, like, you know, say somebody comes to you and says, oh, man, I have an investment that grew at 8%. What does that mean? You know, 8% last week, last year, you know, what does 8% mean? Just overall, you know, I mean, what is, what do these mean? You know, and so when you're breaking down percentages, it, it's really like, it can be kind of difficult if you're not catching the whole number and what number you're basing things off of. For example, if you want to know how long it takes for something to double percentage wise. So for example, if you have a hundred dollars, right, and it's growing at 10%, how long will it take? to double, right? If it's going at 10% a year. So what you do is you take the 10% and I don't know why this works. And maybe there's a mathematician out there who can give us the number or something, but I don't even, to be honest with you, I'm not even exactly sure where I got this from. But if you take that percentage number and you divide it by 70, all you have to do is just remember 70. It's not an exact formula, but it'll get you a really, really close approximation, right? So say for example, you got 10% growing per year you take the 10, divide it by 70, and you're going to double it every seven years, okay, at 10%. If it was 20%, you'd be doubling it every three and a half years. Make sense? So when somebody comes to you and they say, yeah, I got this investment, and it grew at 8% last year, you can, be to, you can go to them and say, wow, man, that's pretty cool. You're going to be doubling your money every nine years. You can immediately think this way, and that's what I do now when I see percentages, I immediately think about this formula. And then also, when you're thinking about like, you know, like markets dropping, right? And when somebody says, oh man, the, you know, the particular market dropped 20% and you could be like, whoa, man, that's huge. And they're like, well, you know, it's only 20%. It's like, yeah, but you don't understand. It takes a 25% increase just to break even. And if it goes down 35%, it takes a 50% increase just to break even. So kind of think about it. All you have to do is just think about a hundred dollar bill. And if you took $20 away from it, how much does it have to grow in order to get back your $100? And so, you know, think about it. $100, you take $20 from it, you have 80 bucks left. How much does it have to grow? Well, it has to grow by $20 back. That's 25% of 80 bucks. So, you know, think about things that way and it'll really kind of open your eyes to, to what people are talking about when they say percentages, you know? And yeah, just don't let them say like, you know, yeah, it's growing at 15%. 15% what? Over your lifetime? Over a year? A week? Last month? What does that mean, right? So anyway, there's the formula right there, all right? Take your percentage. I got terrible handwriting, guys. Please don't make fun of me. I'm embarrassed about it by it is, but I just thought I'd just bring it up to here so you could actually see it. So you take your percentages, divide it by 70, and this will give you your time to double. So for the example, right, 10% divided by seven, seven years, or 70, and then 20% divided by 70, 3.5 years. All right, guys, I hope that helps out when you're looking at uh, articles and listening to different interviews and stuff like that. Um, I know it definitely helps me. I look at those things pretty regularly. When somebody starts using percentages, I immediately think of this formula and then also how long it takes to, to grow. You know, if, you, if a percentage is decreased, how long it takes to actually or how much you need to, to break even again. So, you know, think about it like that. You know, a 50% loss is a 100% increase just to break even. Okay, so, yeah. See you guys.